Not only can we build custom instruments from scratch in edit mode, we can edit our samples at a granular level with the wave editor. Say we want to construct an instrument based on guitar loop samples. I have a bunch of guitar loops which I've saved to a desktop folder which I will drag and drop into my mapping editor. Let's now open our wave editor and pop it out so we can work separately within its own window. Now we have a guitar sample visible in our wave editor. We can set our sample start and end points by dragging these cursors to where we would like our sample to start and end. We can audition the sample by clicking on the play button in the toolbar above. These playback controls are also where you can stop playback of the sample and loop the sample audition. We also have other buttons in the toolbar such as zoom, Jump to zone start, which jumps back to the start marker. Jump to loop start, which puts your loop start in view. Zoom on loop, which puts your selected loop in view. Jump to loop end and jump to zone end. So now that we've auditioned our sample, let's make some edits. Let's click on the sample editor tab below and cut out some empty space. First let's zoom in by clicking on the zoom button and then rubber banding over this area of our waveform. Click and drag over the area of empty space and click cut to get rid of it. Now let's turn on our grid by clicking the power button. Now we can see that contact has set up slices in the sample according to the parameters inside the grid field. In the fix field, we can change how these slices are mapped out by changing the beat division, BPM, or tempo setting. By clicking the plus or minus buttons, we can change how the grid functions. We can offset our slices too by clicking on the number 1 on our first slice and dragging it and offsetting all our other slices. If we click Auto in our grid view, we'll see that our slices snap to our waveform in a different fashion. We can move this slider to add or remove slices. We can then move the slices themselves by clicking the slice and then dragging it to where you want it to go. You may add or remove slices by clicking the plus or minus buttons. Control clicking also adds slices to your sample. You can also lock samples by clicking the sample lock button. We'll go further into wave editing in the next video. Please complete the following assignment.